All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, I do want to talk about some standouts from Chiefs camp thus far to this point in time. Guys like Irv Smith, uh, you got Xavier Worthy, LRZ. I want to talk about some standouts, but we're going to start this video talking about some stuff from camp earlier today because the Chiefs just got the best news in the entire world. Pro Bowl guard Joe Thune has passed his physical and is now off the PUP list as he continues to recover from his pectoral injury. This is just huge because... You know, the Chiefs' interior offensive line is one of the best in the National Football League, if not the best. Joe Thune is just a masterclass at what he does, obviously Pro Bowl stud. But just having him come back healthy and just not miss any chunks of the preseason, to not miss any chunks of the regular season is huge because, you know, right now for Kansas City, it's not like they just won back-to-back -back Super Bowls, right? It's not like, oh, you know, um, let's try and you know, win 10 games this upcoming season. Let's try and win 11. Let's try and compete for the AFC West. All the little stuff matters and all the little stuff adds up. And, you know, when you're missing a key cog on your offensive line, and if he, let's just say he, you know, missed preseason but came back for the regular season. Well, even if it results in like one or two losses, even if it just results in one loss, you know, when you're the back to back defending Super Bowl champions, that type of little stuff matters. So it was great to see Joe Thune is back and off the PUP list. Now, before we get any further into today's video, if you guys enjoy it, be sure to hit the like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. We've been covering the Chiefs almost every single day, posting like five or six Chiefs videos a week. So if we could try and get this video to 250 likes, that would mean the absolute world to me. Um, today was just very light, loose day in camp. But what I absolutely love that I heard and saw is the creativity. So to keep in mind, there's no Hollywood Brown right now. He's dealing with an illness. Uh, there was a quadruple pass at practice today. It went from Patrick Mahomes to Kadarius Tony, back to Mahomes, back to Tony, to Xavier Worthy for a touchdown. And this is the type of little stuff that I am so excited because, you know, when we talk about the Kansas City Chiefs offense last season, they were just lacking, you know, these kind of big time plays, right? Now you drafted Xavier Worthy. Now you picked up Hollywood Brown. You still have Kadarius Tony. I'm, you know, we talk about Kadarius in every single video. I think he's on the roster bubble, but I do think he will ultimately end up making it. Uh, what type of impact he has this upcoming season, that remains to be seen. But I do love the idea of him being in that running back room and just getting the ball in his hands because he's a talented athlete. Now, speaking about Xavier Worthy and Hollywood Brown, even though he wasn't at practice today, now you got that big time playability. Now you have these long or these big time speedsters that Patrick Mahomes can throw that long deep ball to. So that's something that was severely lacking last season. But nonetheless, Ed City Chiefs still won the freaking Super Bowl. So here in this creativity, you know, we've been talking about it time and time again on this channel. They're going to be able to be so creative because of all of this offensive versatility. And that's exactly what we've been seeing in camp. And that's especially what we saw earlier today in camp. Uh, we also saw more clips. Just the Chiefs finding ways to get Xavier Worthy the ball. They're just trying to get Rashi Rice the ball quickly and in open space so they can do their thing with their legs. So today... Um, you know, once again, light, quick day, loose day, pads weren't even on, but just loved what I heard from it as far as creativity goes. Uh, moving forward, Chiefs defense coordinator Steve Spagnolo says he's appreciated a bit of the fire in his defense that they brought in camp. Uh, players have talked about always being on, which he likes. Spags doesn't have a starting name at cornerback after Trent McDuffie quite yet. Just want to keep you guys updated on some camp notes. Um, and then we heard earlier today, this really surprised me because you know, once the pads come on, man, it gets this is when things start ramping up here. I know the Chiefs weren't in pads today, but now that Joe Thune has returned, uh, Kingsley Suamatia was actually getting the first team offensive line reps at left tackle today, but then it ended up, uh, you know, coming out that Kingsley and Wanya Morris split for the 10 10 10 today. So, uh, still looks like a camp battle. But I do have a feeling because Kingsley keeps getting the nod to start the day at left tackle. I kind of have this weird, sneaky suspicion that they're just trying to ease him into the starting role, ultimately leading up to the pr first preseason football game. Folks, I talked about this mainly in our last video. If Kingsley is your starting left tackle, this dude was a freaking stud at BYU. I'm telling you, he was a stud at BYU. I think they've got their long-term left tackle. 
And that's just terrifying because, you know, there's been so many moving cogs at that position and they've still been able to get the job done. So Kingsley, long term starting left tackle, feeling a little bit uh, concerned for the rest of the National Football League because uh, he's a freaking beast. Now, moving forward, let's talk about some standouts. We were talking about this a little bit in our last video, but we ran out of time. Irv Smith Jr. is a guy who I just keep hearing his name. I keep seeing his name on Chiefs training camp videos, you know, highlight reels, hype mixes, etc. Irv Smith is just such an interesting guy. So the Chiefs drafted Jared Wiley in the fourth round of this year's NFL draft, right? Kind of felt like the writing was on the wall for Irv because you got Travis Kelsey, you have Noah Gray, and then you draft Jared Wiley in the fourth round. So Irv Smith Jr. is a fourth tight end on the depth chart. Now, with that being said, we do know Andy Reid loves his freaking tight ends. I also have a sneaking suspicion. A lot of you guys in the comment section are saying this as well. Kind of feels like this could be uh, Travis Kelsey's last season in the NFL. I do think there's a good possibility that he retires at the end of this year. So just hearing that you've got bodies like Irv Smith Jr. making names for himself, Jared Wiley making names for him. Mean, Jared Wiley moves like Travis Kelsey, but Irv Smith Former second round draft pick. Apparently, he's had at least nine catches during scrimmage work this past week and on Saturday and Sunday, including three touchdowns. So, Irv Smith Jr. looks like he's about to make this roster here. Now, moving forward with more standouts, I know this is well, hopefully or was was going to hopefully be expected, but it's Xavier Worthy. You know, we saw it once again today with the deep quadruple pass for a touchdown to Xavier Worthy. He's not just a speed guy. You know, the Kansas City Chiefs really liked his IQ. They really liked how he ran his routes. And Xavier Worthy looks like he could be, you know, a thousand yard receiver this upcoming season. But the speed is clearly there. Um, but I heard this tweet here from Pete Sweeney. His ball tracking ability may be an elite trait, one that could instantly compare with some of the better receivers in the league. A scary weapon for Patrick Mahomes, evidenced by his viral moments in the opening days of camp. Keep seeing it. We saw it once again today. This was a tweet literally from yesterday uh, evening. So, I mean, Xavier Worthy, Travis Kelsey, Hollywood Brown, Rasheed Rice, it's getting kind of scary. And they won. And I know I say this too much in my Chiefs videos, but I just need it needs to be said, even though we all know it, the Chiefs are coming off back to back Super Bowls and they just keep improving. They just keep getting better. They do such a good job at finding talent, whether it's free agency, whether it's in the draft, then they do such a good job of developing that young talent that they bring in. So hearing great things about Xavier Worthy, hearing great things about Irv Smith Jr. Once again, we freaking ran out of time to talk about Nico Remigio, but another guy who you know, could take Sky Moore's roster spot, he could take Kadarius Tony's roster spot. So we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily NFL content. Uh, Chiefs fans, once again, you guys are showing so much love on this channel. So we keep posting daily Chiefs videos. So stay tuned if you guys haven't already. Based on today's video, all the names you heard, let me know which guy you're most excited about. I'm actually going to go with Irv Smith Jr. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. Peace.